Yes, you should. Here's why. Elden Ring is well known, okay? It's the most popular game of 2022. It won Game of the Year. But a lot of people still haven't bought it for various reasons. One, time. Two, it's open world. Three, it's a Soulsborne game, so people weren't nervous they're going to suck at the game. It's going to be a waste of money, etc. Let's get those issues out of the way. Elden Ring can actually be a very easy game. If you're going, if you're worrying about buying this game because you think it's going to be too difficult, don't worry, okay? There are plenty of ways to make this game a bit easier, especially if you're like a parent or you're busy or you got work or whatever. There's plenty of ways to make it easier and make it a more enjoyable experience for you if you don't like super difficult games. Okay, that's like the biggest issue out the way for most people, I think. But Elden Ring, in my opinion, is an absolute masterpiece. You don't get many of these games. You just don't. This is a game that could potentially define an entire generation in the next couple years, depending on what kinds of games come out. We've already had loads of different Soulsborne games like Neo, Lives of P, I think it's called, etc. Like it's already inspired a ton of other games, but Elden Ring is different. First off, it's open world, and it does open world in a very different way compared to like every other open world game that's come out in like the last 10 years, thanks to Ubisoft. Elden Ring lets you fully explore the world, okay? There is no hand holding here. You get a quest and it tells you exactly what to do through the dialogue, or there's like a mystery you gotta solve or whatever, and then you go do it, you go explore. And it's done in such a natural way, you don't get this kind of experience anywhere else. I mean, in my opinion, anyway. The open world is absolutely gorgeous, man. And it's got variety. It's got variety. When you look at the trailers, when you look at some gameplay, you think, oh, wow, it's all just dark, gloomy, it's grey and all sorts. That's that's wrong. That's wrong. This world has a ton of variety. Whether you're travelling through the dungeons of Stormvale or Limgrave or, or whatever, or disappearing down a giant underworld city yes an underworld city exists in Elden Ring you look at the map you think fuck it now that's pretty big that's a big map but guess what there's a map underneath the map what and the best part is you can completely miss that if you don't want to do it I mean I wouldn't recommend it because it's one of the coolest places in the game but hey that's just me the point is you've got so much choice in how you tackle Elden Ring so if you're one of those people that are worried about buying it or or, or are just uh, you think you're gonna have to sink too much time into it don't 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 be afraid to use Google if you do buy it Google is your friend Google in my opinion is a mechanic in Elden Ring <laughs> but I would recommend not doing it if you want a natural experience the overall gameplay is actually fantastic it's no different to any other Souls game, really. So if you've played a Souls game before and you didn't like the gameplay, you didn't like how t tough it was, you didn't like the customization, didn't like the leveling up system, you didn't like the bonfire system, it's you still you, you probably won't like this one. But there is a chance that you will because of the amount of bonfires or graces in this game. The days of running to a boss for like three minutes just to die instantly are pretty much gone. There are a couple bosses in the game that do require that, but most of them spawn you right outside the boss area, so you don't need to be worrying about that. And that's great for me, because that's personally one thing that I was always nervous about, is because I didn't want to spend three minutes running to the thing that I actually want to do. If you've I've been on this channel for a while, you know what I'm like with open world games. You know I'm getting pretty tired of having to do the same thing over and over again, so that sounds like hell for me. But luckily, Elden Ring doesn't do that. The combat, oh my god. Goodness, the combat is fucking amazing. It's amazing. You have so much variety here. You can choose your different weapons. You can choose your different builds. So for me personally, I went with like a sword build, a strength build. That's what they call it, I think. I used the Bloodhound Fang. When I said the game can be easy, just use the Bloodhound Fang, upgrade it, and you're set, mate. That weapon is ridiculous. But the combat is so incredibly satisfying. And if it is your first Soulsborne game, I think it's called Soulsborne or Souls game, whatever, you're going to find some real, real good feeling of progression here because at the start of the game you're gonna suck okay you're gonna get whooped okay even the most basic enemies are going to kill you at first until you learn how to move against them whether when to dodge when to counter when to when to use your abilities when to actually um heal yourself etc you're gonna have to learn those things but that's the beauty of Elden Ring man it doesn't hold your hand you learn this naturally you feel like you're progressing you feel like you're doing this thing that is is so uh, epic I guess even the most basic enemies make you feel like yes I'm a fucking badass let's go but forget about the basic enemies for a minute because there is a ton of variety for them there's, there's too much to talk about in a short video let's talk about the bosses oh my goodness my goodness if you've been craving if you've been craving okay a game that is focused on boss battles Elden Ring's your game the boss battles are so cool in Elden Ring there are some repetitive ones they do reuse some boss battles towards the late game but there are that many bosses I don't care there's like 70 bosses in this game completely unique bosses by the way it's insane it's incredible it's 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 it, 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 the bang for your buck is outrageous yeah some of these bosses can be pretty cheesy and there's some bosses in here that are quite annoying to play against for example there are some bosses which 
run away from you when you get close. So as a melee build that I was playing, it can get infuriating. But if you're a mage build, for example, you can actually use your ranged spells. Like you've got spells that can hit enemies, instant kill them, instant kill them. I wouldn't recommend using it because it's, well, it's broken. It kind of ruins the fun of the game. But if that's what you want to do, that's what you can do. It's there. It's an option. It's so good. The story is kind of non-existent. I'll be honest. The story is, it, 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 I mean, it exists, but it's mainly done through environmental storytelling and a bit of dialogue. You do get some cutscenes that are at, at pivotal moments of the game when you progress through it. But, you know, it's not it's not particularly important important if you if you would care about that stuff you can google the law you can get pretty deep into it there, there is some pretty interesting bits online and after all this was uh partly written by george R. R. martin i think it, i think it was it's the guy that does game of thrones i don't think that's particularly relevant but it's there if you want it the story isn't really an important thing so if you're a story game if you're going in this for story you want a, a last of us or a red dead redemption 2 don't do it don't do it don't do it it it's not going to be for you it's not going to be for you i'm afraid customization oh my goodness first off the game opens with a character creator you can create your own character look uh mage build backstory etc it's not a cyberpunk 2077 moment where you have like three different backstories no no this is a proper rpg okay this is a proper role-playing game where you get to create your character choose your background choose your different starting stats like fallout or whatever and you go off go on from there so there's plenty of customization uh, a lot of it is actually cosmetic in the game like you can get bits of armor but it isn't really relevant the thing you want to upgrade is your your skills like your strength dexterity uh vitality or whatever it's called i can't remember uh, vigor vigor it's called those are the keys to customization really bent depending on your play style but you can still look pretty cool while doing it which i like and the best part is the DLC for Elden Ring comes out in a couple months, and I'm really looking forward to that. So if you plan to buy it, maybe wait for the DLC to come out. I think it's £30 here in the UK, and the actual base game is usually on discount for £30 now. So it's completely up to you if you want to get it now or wait for the DLC. Hopefully there's like a, a, a big discount on the original game and you can buy the DLC later. Who knows? Who knows? I bought it like a year ago and I didn't play it for a while because I was nervous. But, you know, I'm a little bitch. I know, I know. Oh, and before I end it, mate, the music. The music is so fucking good in this game. The music is incredible. Okay. I don't don't spoil the music for yourself go into the game expect decent music but don't spoil it online because the music oh my goodness it's, it's one of those things that really solidifies the experience when you meet a boss and the music goes mate it's a fuck it's it's, it's oh, chef's kiss man chef's kiss so yeah if you haven't bought Adam ring yet definitely do it if this sounds like your kind of game if you're a bit nervous as i said at the start of the video don't be nervous if you're still nervous after this video go look it up go look up the, how easy it can be if, if you're worried about the time you're going to sink into the game and uh yeah just let me know if i've convinced you to buy because that's the goal of this video I'm, I'm not even being i'm not even like i'm not even lying like I'm very biased here. I, I love this game and I want more people to play it if you get a chance to because it's one of those games that is going to change how you look at a lot of the other games that you've played and realize how easy and kind of mind-numbing they are like a Far Cry game or Assassin's Creed game. You're like, wow, this is extremely easy. Why am I even playing this? Yeah, the story can be pretty good, but hey, you want a good gameplay experience at the end of it as well. But that's just my opinion. You know what I mean? I'm, I don't speak for everyone. I don't speak for everyone. Anyway, yeah, Elder Ring's a freaking masterpiece. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Hopefully this video was nice and quick for you. That's the goal of this video. Bosh. Right, see you soon, mate. Bye-bye.